In this video, we will show you how to convert Figma design into websites using WordPress plus Elementor. In here, I'm using Elementor Pro. And for this video, we will separate into nine parts because uh, it makes us uh, focus on work. So uh, this is the part one is the navigation. And the second is this hero. And this is number three. And this is number four. This is number five, six, seven, eight, and nine for the footer. The navigation and the header is most important because this is the first look if people open the website. Okay, actually in the Figma, you can see and inspect the element. And in here, you can see there is have width and height also on the properties but uh, to make easier we learning about design in wordpress with elementor first we need to creating the page and we will make the width with 1000 uh, fixed uh, for the width to easier us for the practice okay for example this is test and click edit with elementor in here by default our layout is based on our wordpress team in here i'm using hello elementor from the team and we can click these settings and we can hide this title by clicking this okay you can see here or we can just click no and we can click elementor canvas select the elementor canvas here now the page is playing first we need to create the navigation okay let's focus on here okay this is the navigation this is have a three columns but in here you can also using two columns but three column is better for our best practice okay because i'm using container in here we can just click this add new container and select these three columns actually all of uh, this layout is container i also uh, post tutorial about how to enable the container because we can easier to make website with the container rather than just using rules and columns okay you can see the previous video about how to enable the container on elementor and first we need to export this uh, logo okay how to export this we can just uh, click the sign in here and we can just click export click export here and this is just logo one to export uh, just like that okay because uh, I already I already uh, upload and export this so I don't need to upload again later and we just show you how to export this okay you can just click export button here after you select uh, the current image you want to export okay in here uh, let's click the container and then select image because we need to add the logo okay i forget uh, to show you this is i'm using uh, seat settings you can see there in here for the layout i'm using uh, 1000 pixels or 1000 px you can set this to easier for elementor practice just click on the settings and in here uh, you can see the layout okay this is the layout and you can fill whatever your site with uh, that suitable with you but in here for practice i just fill with 1000 and after that in here we can upload our logo that we just download we can upload it 
okay you can upload this but i already upload so i just using media library here and then i put this and click insert media then this is our logo and the second is for navigation for navigation we can search the widget navigation or nav menu then drag and drop here and the last is a button okay navigation and button so just add button here Okay, uh, this is because using container, we can very easy to reordering to make a uh, change of the position of each item. You can see here for direction, we can using uh, like this, like this reverse or like this. And this is because we enable the container and then we need to adjust the width of each items because this is just only need small width so in here we can just uh, make sure because all of this is required 100 percent let's fill this with 15 for example okay 15 is enough and this is also 15 so 15 plus 15 is equal to 30 and the rest is filled with 70 okay like this because container it's very easy we can just make our uh, position of the menu something like this you can see there now uh, maybe it's a little different in here uh, we just show you how to make uh, the navigation like this and we don't need to make a very similar with this of course you can do it uh, for yourself after you click this edit container you can set how the items align you can see there you can align center top or whatever uh, you like here okay for example i choose center and we done to creating the menu and this is for desktop version on mobile version uh, we will explain in the other video okay next we create the background for the button of course okay for the button just click style in here and for background type choose classic and select the background like this also for uh, also for the content is sign up in here okay. and we're done creating the menu and in the next video on part 2 we will creating the hero that's all